Hello, my YouTube friend. I'm at the store today. I'm running kind of late, so I got to work with my mask on the store, which makes it a little bit harder to film. But I'm going to try to get through a couple of large boxes that my patron Trolla just sent me to buy. And I'm going to show you guys kind of as I go through that box. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of other work done today. All right, let's go into the store. All right, let's go into the store. All right, got these two giant boxes to go through. Okay, so the store's open, so I kind of have everything to the side. A little bit harder to do it when we're open. All right, let's take a look at what's in the box. Ooh, I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. Okay, looks like everything is well packaged in here. Oh, I gotta get a pad and paper so I can start writing down prices. I actually, it's a big mystery box. I don't know what's in here. I don't know the value off the top of my head. She didn't tell me. She said she's just gonna send me a whole bunch of stuff to go through and give her an offer price, or I think we're gonna do partial trade as well. I think, uh, let's just take everything out of the box, then I'll start pricing it out and all that. Just this way we can kind of see what's in here. Kind of excited. Oh, okay, it's damaged. But we have Starlight from the boys. I actually don't have any from the set. I really want that one. So I'm going to keep this one for now, but I'll probably have to upgrade it later on. That is awesome. Now I know Sherla loves mystery boxes, so she ends up with a lot of duplicates in our collection. So that's why every once in a while she'll trade them to me. Uh, we have the passport book. This is an extra one, so I'll be selling this one. Ah, uh, was it magnetic? Yeah, that is cool. I need to get more of the pops for that set. Oh, I hope she has a couple more of the boys. That'll be cool. Uh, okay, we have a Marvel box. I don't think I've gotten this one yet. Oh, Fantastic Four. Oh, this is the Black Friday box. Okay, I do have these. I just never opened them. Okay, so we have the Venomized Invisible Girl with the Venomized uh, Galactus. I actually haven't seen the keychains yet. Oh, I have a whole case of these. I gotta open this up. Oh, and there's a Doctor Doom Pez. That is actually really neat. Okay, we have a vinyl set. I still need a bunch of these. I have a good portion of them, but I'm missing a couple. So we have the Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute. That's a cool set though. I'm pretty sure I have that one. Okay. We have Vicious from Cowboy Bebop. This one's a bit damaged. I think a lot of times when she gets mystery boxes, some of them just have damaged pops in them. So she usually trades the way the ones she doesn't want. We have a, oh, Entertainment Earth exclusive glow in the dark gambit. I don't think I have that one yet. That one's going in my collection. Okay, we have the Silver Chrome Ken Kaneki. That one's really cool. I do have that one. We have the Kling Toy Tokyo exclusive. That one I do have. That one's an awesome pop. Now I like it. Okay, next we have Big Yella. This one I think actually a couple of my patrons need. So that'll probably go into our mystery boxes. That was cool. Right, I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the box so it's easier for me to pull stuff out. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, we have the uh, Minato Namikaze AAA anime exclusive. That one I don't think I have, so that one's going to my collection. That is awesome. Uh, Mr. Mime from Pokemon. I think my patron Alex actually needs that one, so that's probably going to him. He's trading me a whole bunch of stuff, so I should be getting that box from him pretty soon. Oh, this is neat. We have Queen from Persona 5. I don't have that one yet. Very neat pop. That one's going into the collection. Okay. All right. The rest of these are... Uh, no, we got a couple loose ones still. Okay. We have the Triclops. It's a ECC Comic Con exclusive. That one's cool. Pretty sure I have that one. A uh, bunch of pop protectors. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have uh, Mrs. Nesbitt from Toy Story. That one I have already. Now, I end up keeping these sorter boxes for shipping. It's a really good way to protect your pops when you're shipping stuff out. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have Ang on Air Scooter. This one sells really well for me every time I get it. So that one will be for sale. Very cool pop. Okay, we have... Uh, okay, this is the San Diego Comic-Con Batman. This one's very popular. Uh, this one will probably sell really quick. Okay, let's 
Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, okay, this is cool. So we have we have Maximilian Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. That one I think I actually need. Very neat. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, we have the Lightning Blade Kakashi from Naruto. That one I think I have already. Someone will want that though. Actually, one of my patrons might need that one. We have a soda. Uh, Leonardo. That is neat. He's open though, so I'm assuming it's the common. Yeah, it's just the common. Uh, I don't think I have the common though, so he's going to my collection. I really like the soda pop figures. I think they're cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have uh, Amon from Legend of Korra. I don't have that one yet. Very cool. That one's going into the collection. Okay, we have more. Uh, okay, we have the Sisa Sasuke Achia. I can't say that. <laughs> uh, very cool pop, though. I don't have that one. That one's going into the collection. Uh, ooh, we have the Chrome Mando. This is cool. Love that pop. That one I have already, but I'm sure it'll sell really easily. People love the Mandalorian. Okay, this is one of those weird protectors from the Funko Shop. Uh, okay, we have the Upside Down Will. Very neat pop. I think one of my patrons needs that one. Actually, two of my patrons might need that one. Okay, we have more. A lot of pops. Thank you for putting them all in sorter, Sherla. I really appreciate this. This keeps them, you know, a couple of damaged ones, but I think you had them damaged. You probably got them that way. Uh, okay, this is cool. We have the, like, charged up glow in the dark Deku. Very awesome pop. That one I do have, but I'm sure someone will be happy to get it. Very awesome pop. This is, I like when I buy a collection through the mail. People have them all in sorters. Or, you know, protector. It's just something that keeps each pop from being crushed. Makes me very happy. Okay, we have the Flock Bullseye Funko Shop exclusive. Very awesome pop. I do have that one. I'm going to double check. I think one of my patrons might need that one. Okay. Oh, all right. This one's a cool one. We're open. You can come in. Hello. Hello, how are you? All right, we have Ed and Ian from Cowboy Bebop. Very cool pop. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the purple Trishire cat. Love that one. I think a couple of my patrons want that one. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, this, I don't remember if I got this one. We have the comic book guy from The Simpsons. That one is cool. I think I actually need that one. Uh, we have the 2020 San Diego Comic-Con Stan Lee. That one is neat. I'm sure someone will want that one. Uh, we have the new movie Leonardo. That one I actually need. That's very cool. Going into the collection. The, oh, this is the Collector Core Groot. I love this one. The Christmas one. I'm actually going to check one of my patrons to collect Christmas pops. I'm going to see if he wants that one. We have the Hot Topic Kid Flash. Very cool pop. Not one someone will want. Uh, oh, this one sells every time I get it. It's the Baskin Robin and Stranger Things, Steve. Very cool pop. Oh, this box is full. Uh, oh, okay, we have the Susie from Stranger Things. That's from the 2019 New York Comic Con. Very cool pop. Love that one. Okay. Uh, we have the 2019 New York Comic Con Benson from Toy Story. Very cool. Okay, let's see what we got. We have, oh, T'Challa in his white 
afterlife suit. That one, actually, my friend Sean wants. Very cool. Let's see what I got. Uh, we have the Spartan Mark 7 from Halo. That one I actually don't have. Very cool pop. That one's going to the collection. Oh, let's see if I can get this plastic out. This box is full. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, okay. This is cool. We have the Steve Aki from... Uh, I don't even know what band that is. Oh, okay. A DJ. All right. Very cool. 2020 San Diego Comic-Con. I don't have that one. That one's going in my collection. We, oh, this one's neat. We have the Collector Core Zombie Red Skull. That one someone's going to want. That's a cool pop. Oh, this one's cool. From Fairy Tale, we have Etheris Natsu. Hello again, buddy. Hello, how are you? I'm all right. All right, the store's been super busy. Lots of people are buying stuff, but let's try to finish this box before it gets dark. We have the Serious Natsu from Fairy Tale. It's a AAA anime exclusive. That one I do not have. That one's going into my collection. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, we have the Recyclops White. That is cool. I forgot. I've had a couple of these. I don't know if I've kept any yet. That I'm gonna double check. Okay. That's, uh, oh, this is cool. So we have the Webster. I think I just have the metallic one. I might need this common version. That's very neat. Uh, okay, we have Andy in the sumo suit. I had, this is a special edition sticker, so I might actually keep that one. All right, this is super cool. Someone traded these in while I was processing the pops. It's like a SpongeBob press kit thing. I think it opens up. It has just like a regular figure in it, but it's just a really neat box. So this, we're definitely, we're putting this into the Cool Kids collection. Thought that was really neat. And then we got a, what is this? An albino bowler action figure and a Bugs Bunny Diamond Pop Blu-ray set. I thought that was a neat little trade-in. Busy in here. <laughs> yeah, it's been really busy. It's good, I like it. Yeah. Okay, Let's see what we got here. Keep, uh, it's hard to film while we're open because people are coming in and shopping. I gotta help people and it's fun though. Okay, we have a Target exclusive Sugar Bear. Very neat, I think one of my patrons would probably want that. Okay. We have, uh, oh, this is cool. I don't think I have this one. So we have the, I'm not even gonna say the name because people are gonna get mad at me for saying it wrong, but it looks like a cool pop and I'm definitely keeping that one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is cool. I wanted this one, I didn't have it yet. We have the, we have the Morton Salt Girl. She is awesome. I needed that one, I needed the diamond one as well. Very cool. Excited to add that to my collection. Let's see what we got. All right, this collection is good. There's been a lot of stuff that I needed. Okay, we have the Huckleberry Hound Common. That one I do have already. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have uh, from Gladiator, we have the Commodus. I'm not sure how you say that. I don't have that one yet. So that one's going into my collection. Very cool. All right, let's see what we got here. We have, oh, we have Parseval from Ready Player One. We have the Hot Topic exclusive clear translucent one. Very neat, do you have that one already? All right, let's see what we got. We have, oh, this one's neat. I'm not sure if I have this one yet. The cool kid has this one. I don't know if I got it yet though. So we have the Scream Symbio. It's a Walgreens exclusive. Very cool, that one's going in my collection. Okay, so that's everything in that large box. We have a second box to go through. Someone told me I should dump the VHS and just make this a storage area so I have a little bit more room for the comics and whatnot. I, um, I like having the VHS in the store. I don't know, there's something about having the old pop culture I really enjoy. This area is a mess and I have to clean it up. I don't clean it up that often because I sell them cheap. I only sell them for a dollar, six for five. So it's not like a lot of value here. But we probably make about $50 in sales a week on the tapes. 
And if you do that over a year, that's $2,500. That like pays my electric bill each month. So I kind of like having them and the profit margins are pretty decent. Let me give you a little demonstration. So right here, I have a stack of six VHS tapes. We sell six tapes for $5. Here, I have a Funko Pop that I sell for $10. Now, what do these two have in common? These VHS tapes, we either get them for free or I pay like 10 cents a piece. So one, two, so I pay about 50 cents on there. So this is $4.50 profit. And a pop like this, if I buy it new from Funko, I pay about $7 wholesale. So I actually make more profit. I have to sell two of these at $10 to make the same profit on five VHS tapes. Uh, if I buy this used from someone, I probably pay about $4, plus I pay 50 cents wholesale for the protector. So I make uh, like $5 profit. So these two, I make about the same amount of profit. But to buy this, I have to pay $5. To buy this, I pay 50 cents. If I buy $5 for 50 of these tapes, I can potentially make 40 to $50 profit for the same amount of money I invest in this. So these are high margin. These are Beanie Babies. No one buys Beanie Babies. People look at Beanie Babies as worthless, but I'm selling them. I'm, I'm, you know, this road's gone. I've sold, you know, there's some room here. I've probably sold 10 of them so far. I've had them for two weeks. I paid a quarter a piece. I'm selling them for $4. I'm making $3.75. So every one and a half of these equal to one pop, but I only invested $10. So when it all said and done, I have, there's no risk in having this in the store other than clogging up the space, but they're selling. And if after a couple months, half of them don't sell, I can donate them or get rid of them somehow. And I haven't lost anything. Whereas with Pops, if I invest $5 each, that's a lot of money that adds up. You know, I sell the DVDs four for 10. I don't pay a lot on DVDs. I pay maybe a quarter piece, not because I wanna rip people off, but because they're DVDs. No one's buying them. They're, everyone needs to get rid of them. I like having them because they do sell. I sell a few hundred dollars worth a week. But again, my profit margin is high. I'm paying a quarter. I'm selling for 250, so making 10 times my money. So if I sell four for 10, I'm making $9. This is the equivalent of selling $20 worth of Funko Pops without the risk of paying a lot of money to get them. So that's why I kind of like selling the old media because there is a demand for it. I'm selling something that you can't get anywhere else. You go to Best Buy right now, they only have brand new releases. So you can't get older movies like this. You can't find VHS almost anywhere. Maybe a couple thrift stores in New York City have them. But if you're a VHS collector, this is a place to come. And I don't sell them just for a dollar. Over here in the store is kind of like my better more collectible VHS section. So like Revenge of the Ninja, a weird Kung Fu movie. I have $5 for that. So what we do is when we buy a big stack of VHS for like 10 cents a piece, we pull out the collectible stuff. Here's a Kino video. This is uh, $17 we have on that one. The Wind and the Willows, we have $5 on that. I don't know if that one's gonna sell, but like some of the oldies, that one's $3. We have some concert ones. That one is $4. Uh, the stuff that sells really well is the horror stuff, but that sells, we're out of it right now, I think. The Lady Vanishes, $3. Sleeper, $3. Uh, original Flash Gordon, $4. Uh, here is, I think this is a horror, Dr. X, old school. So yeah, I like selling VHS, it is fun. I like selling cassette tapes, because these are fun too. These are actually really popular right now. This is kind of like our little more expensive section, $6. So I just want to talk about that a little bit because a lot of people say like, what are you going to do when Funko Pops become Beanie Babies? Well, obviously I'm selling Beanie Babies over there. They're selling actually pretty well right now. It's like a little test. I've probably tripled my money on them already. I still have a bunch more to sell. I sell obsolete things. I love selling obsolete pop culture. That is what I do. So when Funko Pops if they bomb in like five years and no one's buying them anymore in stores like Target, there's still gonna be a small niche amount of collectors that are gonna be hardcore collecting them still. And I'm still gonna be able to sell them because I'm gonna be one of the last people left on the planet still selling them. Just like all this other junk I'm selling. <laughs> Cause I love to do that. All right, let's start digging through more of those pops. All right, let's get this other box open. Okay. All right, that first box is fun. Let's see what we got in the second box. Okay, uh, this might have been upside down. <laughs> I think she packed it the other way. Hopefully there's nothing fragile on the bottom. This is just how they delivered it to me. Uh, but these are all in sorters, which I love to see because that means they're all protected. All right, let's see what we got. I'll cut the flaps off. 
These giant boxes I really don't have use for, so I just recycled them. Let's just start digging into these boxes. We have, oh, we have an 8-bit Jason. This is cool. Uh, my, I think I have two patrons that might want that pop, so that's very cool. I need a lot more horror stuff. I am selling horror stuff left and right. It's so hard to get a lot of it. All right. So we got here. Okay, we have uh, another or a different Dwight as Recyclops. Again, I think I sold the last few I got. I might actually keep this set. I've been with all this stuff. It's since a lot of it's so expensive. I've been kind of just keeping a little bit each time and then selling the rest and then slowly building the collection. Okay. Oh, this one's cool. I think I got her. I still need the chase though. I love this one. So we have the terrible tornado from One Punch Man. Very neat pop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, oh, this one's neat. So we have the 2020 New York Comic Con exclusive Jiminy Cricket. Uh, I believe I just got that one recently. I'm gonna have to double check though. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, Mr. Toad, I don't have this one. Oh, that is cool. That one's going to my collection. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, Battle Armor He-Man. I think I just got this one recently. I might have got the exclusive though, so I might actually need the common. That one is cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, we have a second one of these, Steve Aiki, Oiki. Not sure how you say his name. That's cool though, one of those will be for sale. Okay, this is good. She put lots of padding between layers. Appreciate that, Sherlock. Good job. I like getting, uh, oh, this, I love this pop. Okay, so we have the Scaramucci. We have the Scaramucci for Samurai Jack. It's a Toy Tokyo 2020 limited edition. Love Samurai Jack. I'm really excited for the next wave of these that are coming out. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, okay, we have a Gamorrean fighter. That is cool. I don't have that one yet. I think that's... Yeah, that's a Mandalorian one. So that one's going to my collection. Let's see what we got here. Running out of sunlight, so we gotta get through this. So we have Bell. Pretty sure I have that one already. Uh, okay, we got this one. Oh, this one's cool. We have the Hot Topic exclusive Cora. This one, uh, not going in the dark, but this one's really cool. Love that one. Okay. We have. Uh, Oh, Tupac Shakur, I don't have that one yet. That's cool, that one's actually going to my collection. I love getting the music pops. Uh, okay, we have a Dragon Ball Super. So we have the Super Saiyan Kale, it's a child's collectible exclusive. This is the powering up version, I might actually need that one. Okay, what we got here? Uh, oh, I don't have this one yet. Oh, uh, sadly, it looks like it got damaged in manufacturing, maybe. But from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we have Baron Zemo. Oh, uh, that's a shame. I really wanted that one. So that one, I might still sell just for cheap. Try to get them again later. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, ooh, Kato. Kato's cool. I love Kato. Any Bruce Lee pops, always awesome in my book. That one I have already. Okay, we got... See what we have. Oh, I don't have this one yet. Oh, sweet. So we have the pop in the box Venom, the one where he's got the wings. That's a neat pop. That one's going into the collection. Awesome. Okay, let's see what we got here. This one's stuck in here. I think it's a full metal alchemist. It looks like it. Okay. So this one's King Bradley from Full Metal Alchemist. It's a Hot Top exclusive. Uh, I think I do have that one, so I hope you for sale. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, from Dragon Ball Super, we have Wiz. That one I do have already. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no, this is one I sent to her by mistake. She bought a different pop. I thought she meant this one. So this one, she's just returning to me. Very cool pop. Someone else is going to buy that. I have a few Attack and Titan fans looking for some. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, Scary Terry. Love this one. That pop will sell really easily. People love that one. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
Uh, ooh, I don't have this one. Okay, that is cool. We have Dead Mouse 5. That one is going into my collection. All right, just a couple more rows and then we'll be through these. Uh, okay, this looks like the San Diego Comic-Con Toucan from 2019. That one I have already. Okay, we have another box here. Oh, the Diggum Frog, just a common. That one I do have. I'm sure someone will buy that one right away. Ad icons are always popular. We have uh, Renji from Bleach. That is really cool. That one I do have already. All right. Oh, we have the Target exclusive Noid. Love that one. That one is cool. That one I'm sure one of my patrons will want. I have a few patrons working on the ad icons. We've got here. Uh, okay, we have a uh, Ultraman 2019 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I actually might keep that one because I think I have the Toy Tokyo sticker. I don't know if I have the shared sticker. Okay, all right, we got one more here. Uh, ooh, okay. We have the Tula from Pop Around the World. I don't have that one. That is neat. I really want to put that set together. So I'm actually really excited to get that. Okay, we got another one here. Okay, we have a Bazooka Joe. So it's another Target exclusive, that one I have already. Again though, I think a few of my patrons might want that one. Okay, we have, oh, this one is cool. I don't remember, no, I have the US version. So we have Kid Boo, I'm not gonna write read that because people get mad at me, but it's the special edition version. That is really cool. I think that one's going to my collection. All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, oh, Evil Inuyasha. That is neat. Uh, I had a couple of pages I think want this one, but I gave them both one of these. So I think that one will be for sale. All right, just a couple more. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, ooh, I don't think I have this one. All right. So Princess Tiana and Naveen, it's a box lunch exclusive with the glitter. She is really adorable. That one's going to my collection. It's a double pop. I love the pops of the little teeny figures. That one is awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, ooh, okay, we have Kenny Powers. It's a 2019 ECC Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, I think I got the con sticker. I don't have the shared sticker, so that one's going to my collection. Very cool. Couple more. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Uh, okay, we have the triple A anime exclusive Super Saiyan Vegeta. That one will sell really easily. All right, and finally, we got, what we got here? Uh, oh, we got Greg Brady. I just got a whole bunch of the Brady Bunch. I'm not sure if I got Greg though. This might actually be the last one I need. I'm gonna double check that, very cool. All right, Shirley sent me a lot of awesome stuff. I'm really happy to get all that. I want to get through these two bags of toys today. My record guy dropped these off. I believe he wants me to make him about $30 a bag. So I got to sort these and try to get about $60 or more out of them. Usually what happens is when he brings me stuff, he puts it on consignment and I give him half of the sales. So let's dump this out and sort it a little bit. So I have to start... Some stuff, sometimes if he has micro machines, I actually just buy those directly from him for like a buck a piece. Love micro machines. Uh, vintage Disney figures like this. It needs a little bit of cleaning, but that's gonna be like four or five bucks. Cause that's a little bit better. Something like this is just cheap dollar item. A mini troll. I actually might buy that for myself. Uh, this figure is probably not worth anything. So I'll put that in the dollar pile. A uh, Garfield, probably like two bucks. A little jet goes into the dollar pile. We have a dinosaur. It's not Jurassic Park. If it's Jurassic Park, it's worth something. Not Jurassic Park, it's probably about four or five bucks. Jurassic Park, it gets to 10. We have a vintage bear. I'm not sure what series that's from, but that's probably like in the four to five dollar range. That needs to be lauded with stuff. This is cheap. This guy, probably like two bucks. Garfield's $2. That one I might just buy from him. I love little toys. Daffy Duck, probably two or three dollars. Um, she's from DuckTales, I believe. Not DuckTales. Chippendales Rescue Rangers, I think. She's probably like a $3. Uh, 
Mike Wazowski, like two to three dollars. Vintage Disney, four to five. This vintage figure, probably like three to four. Uh, Uncle Scrooge, that's in like the three to four range. Probably three to four dollar. Newer stuff really isn't worth that much. That's garbage. She's two to three. Two to three. Fozzie Bear, two to three. A Mickey wind up, that's cool. That's probably in the four to five range. Tasmanian Devil, that's like the two to three range. That's probably gotta be lotted up. Uh, vintage Fisher Price figure. Not in the best shape, so probably in like the three ish range. $2, two to three. Uh, one to two ish. Two to three. This has to be lotted up. Lotted up. Oh, this is cool. He's uh, Figment, I believe, from Epcot Center from the 80s. Dirty, but I still think I can get four or five out of him. Normally, I just he should be cleaned up. I just don't like doing the extra work to clean up. I just let whoever buys it get it. A little spinny top thing. Uh, I think this is early 90s. Uh, I don't see the date, but I, oh, it's McDonald's, so that's like a one or two dollars. McDonald's toys aren't really worth much. A Fisher Price little person, a dollar. A little micro machine thing. I might buy that. Another figure. That guy's cool. Look, I'm not sure where he's from. He needs to be a little bit clean, but he's gonna be two or three. Uh, I actually might buy that guy. He's cool. I love the little guys. Fiona from Shrek, one to two. Probably three to four. A uh, little virgin airplane. That's cool, actually. Oh, no, it's broken. So maybe a dollar. Genie's a dollar. Lot it up. So let's see where we ended up value-wise. Probably like 10, 20, 30 right there. 1, 2, 21, 22, 23 items. So that's probably like $46-ish. So we're at 70, 70, maybe $80 for everything. So he's going to make his money worth on there. And I'm happy with that. What I do is I'm going to stick these all in the bags, put a price on it. Uh, okay, let's see if the trolls will make it. The trolls, we usually sell the larger size like this for seven. Those are usually seven. He's a little bit smaller, so he's probably going to be like four. Larger size, seven. And they sell well. We usually sell out. Smaller size, that's five maybe. Medium size. Larger size. Uh, he's dirty though, so maybe four or five. Uh... Larger size, I believe seven. This one's cool. It's like a Frankenstein one. I might actually charge a dollar more for that. Eight dollars. A cool surfing one. Maybe five bucks. This one's maybe four dollars. Larger size one, seven. And uh, let's see. Oh, uh, vintage Sesame Street truck. Probably like three dollars just because the paint wear. And two on that. So let's see where we are. Eight, 29, 37, 42, 46, 56, 58. So we're close. I might have to push a dollar or two more on these just to get to that 60 that he needs me to get to. So not too bad. I'm going to price all those out. All right. Oof, I need a breather. That was exhausting. Uh, the store's actually been really busy today. We sold a lot of pops. And uh, we got through those two giant boxes. It's getting a little dark, so I can't really film too much more. So I think that's it for today. I'm gonna try to get two videos in the story a week now because I'm getting a bunch of collections coming in and I wanna process them faster and I wanna get more content for you guys. I wanna thank my patrons for supporting the channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.